That was exciting. I guess the dog's jumping deer over by Benjamin. He got a shot off. Ran over here. I just tried to help him out. I shot at it three times and got over by Bean, Eric. He shot at it. I don't know how many times he shot at it. Another deer came over here. Got caught up in the, in the old wire fence where the horse pen used to be. So we'll have to see if anybody connected on that rascal. <laughs> At least we had some excitement over here. Hey y'all, exciting morning. My son was over here in this corner, over here. And he had, he said 20 deer start coming through. One went right under stand. He shot straight down. He thinks he hit the deer, but we haven't found any blood yet. Um, the deer came through the old horse pen, got hung up in the fence, made it through and went on through. Well, I saw a deer right after he shot. I thought I was just following up his shot. Turned out it was like a, just a small rack buck. And I thought I was helping him out, but he was shooting at a doe. I was definitely shooting at a buck. So we went over here and we found blood, but the deer ran from my stand, which is right there, down that way, which Eric was down there hunting. When the deer came by him, he started shooting that deer. So we found blood where I hid it. So we got to go back in and check. We're going to let this deer lay for a few minutes. So after he shot that deer, then he had another deer come by, big doe, and he shot at it three times and went down. So when he got down out of his stand, the deer jumped up and come running over to me, and it came right, I mean right to me, so I shot three times, and deer came over here and piled up over there. Eric's over there, this deer just has a will to live like you wouldn't believe. When he came up, that deer was still living. So I'm gonna go over here and show you this. It's gonna look kind of brutal because uh, we think this deer was bulletproof. It's got at least seven, <laughs> seven shots in it, but he got it. He uh, he finished it off up close. So there's a kind of a big old hole in his head. So, all right, Bina, what do you got, man? We got a nice doe with a Remington 870 triple lot. As bad as the bone when you can hit them. <laughs> want to die. Yeah, this deer, it ran. How far back in the woods were you? 120 yards. Probably. So he's 120 yards that way. Then the deer came back over. You see my stands right there still. Well, that deer came right through here and came up here and crashed up in here. It was laying in here. You can see all kind of blood right there. All kind of blood right there. But when he came up over here, wanted to jump up again. So put the finishing touches on it. Cut so, his dragon job in half. Yeah, it went from 125 back this oh, way. Mm -hmm. So now we got only about 80 yards yeah. to go. So we're gonna get this deer out. We're gonna uh, field dress it and that type stuff. We're probably gonna go eat lunch and then we're gonna come back in and look for this other deer. It's a buck. So we know we found blood, so it's been hit. So hopefully with my three shots I put in that one and his three shots he put in that one. We're gonna have to go get some more bullets. <laughs> so we need stay, to get sponsored by Walmart. They get sponsored by Remington or Winchester, yeah, Winchester. or somebody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay tuned, we're gonna see if we can find this other deer. Hey y'all. It's the day after Christmas. December twenty sixth. And we've got hunting this morning. I didn't think anything was going to happen. All of a sudden, deer just started running all over the place. My son shot at one. Couldn't find any sign that he hit it. Right under his stand. 410 triple out buck. Then the buck ran over to me. Couldn't really tell what it was. I think it might have been a spike or a full point. He shot it. And I hit it. And it ran down on my nephew. He hit it too. It ran out. We let it lay. And he had another doe come up. He shot it and it fell down. Thought he's done, got out of the stand, it jumped up. He shot at it again. Came over to me, I shot it three, three times. We put it down over here. When it was down, he had to walk up to it and finish it off again. The deer just didn't want to die. We went out and got us some lunch, came back in. 
and uh, trailed that, that, that buck, I don't know, two hours. Blood trail here, blood drop, drop, drop. Couldn't put our hands on the deer, so got off the property. So, for a hunt. So, well, what I wanted to show y'all is my Christmas present. I know I've been trying to film my hunt. That's my good camera. My wife's a real good camera. Zooms in. That means a muddy arm for my tree stand. So, I don't know what kind of footage I got today. So, we're going to check that footage out and see. Maybe I got something that would be neat. I did, but uh, stay tuned. We'll see what happens tonight.